the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video for today. We have some interesting stuff to talk about guys. Bitcoin broke all time high. XRP is ready to move guys. Let's take a look what's going on. See Gasparino here talking about Garling House to FBN. No settlement with the SEC if XRP is deemed a security. Brett Garlinghouse is super confident guys and that tells you something. I think even that there is a settlement behind closed doors, but we're not just seeing it yet. And it's almost going to unfold. Let's take a look what Gasparino is saying here. Out his suit in the context of what's going on with the Bitcoin ETF and what the SEC is doing in terms of regulation. Listen to what he had to say. I think it has had a stifling effect here in the U.S. Uh, you know, hopefully when we get to the end of this, there'll be certainty and clarity and frankly it could be a very positive thing for the xrp ecosystem and community that it's the one crypto where there is clarity and it is certain do you see a settlement of your case in the in the works look i would love to spend less time on this uh and be able to move forward you know the, the one thing that ripple cares about more than anything and really for the whole xrp ecosystem is that there's clarity going forward that xrp is not a security if that's not in the cards in the settlement, then there's nothing to settle. Well, there you see it. I, I think, Liz, I think um, he got... I, I think people at Ripple are actually annoyed that the SEC is approving a Bitcoin ETF while they're attacking their uh, XRP and Ripple. And as you heard, no settlement on the, unless there's that very fine point that XRP remains uh, a security, excuse me, a currency and not a security, thus outside the SEC boundaries. Let's go to Adam Aaron. Fascinating uh, uh, conversation I just had. Very, very interesting, guys. You can see how confident Brett Garlinghouse is. He's not faltering, guys. We know that there is something going on. And it's almost now in two months, guys. It's going to be one year since the settlement has started, uh, since the SEC case actually started, which is very, very significant. Because a lot of people tell us that on the 22nd of December, it's going to be interesting because it's going to be one year and the SEC is really in trouble, guys. So let's take a look at this one. SEC versus Ripple. More than 50,000 holders and friends want to. A friend's perspective. Toad Deaton is worried about annoying the court. His filing referenced the SEC's call for a two-month extension he requested. Please accept this letter to serve as both the application for XRP holders to offer their perspective, as well as an offer of proof of said perspective. What's more, Deaton confirmed that he will not repeat any points made by defendants in the case, even so he stated, in opposing the SEC's request for this delay, Ripple's argument focuses on how the freezing of XRP markets within the United States impacts Ripple. The negative impact on XRP holders is even more profound and they are doing absolutely nothing about this while the sec has to protect investors so what is going on what is going on we want to know the whales are active guys the whales are active soon we will definitely move up because the bull market just started well that's what most of the experts are saying i see a lot of xrp fanatics i personally think the sec case is already settled behind closed doors these pictures is 2017 xrp btc chart and 2017 xrp usd 12 december 2017 was a key date wait till xrp btc hits green box and it's take off i am also a xrp fan we don't have to forget guys the main things about xrp we are here with xrp for a decade okay they have been building this stuff for a decade so that's very significant okay it has been here for a very long time and it didn't reach its all-time high yet so this only this will already make your money five fold easily can anyone explain why it says one xrp equals sixty thousand dollars look at that glitch again this is one of many and it's happened it's happening constantly so this is if i don't make a mistake it's on bityard this is on bityard it says one xrp equals sixty thousand here you can see it guys 
another one of many glitches that are happening on these exchanges. Ellen Sorry Exchange taps Ripple NetCloud to enable cross-border remittances to Malaysia with Money Match. Now, this is recent news and this is big. Ripple NetCloud allows banks and financial institutions to move away from aging and expensive legacy on premise infrastructure and embrace the flexibility, speed, and resilience of cloud computing without the burden of hardware man management. Guys, this is the internet of value. One of the biggest things in history, and it will come out. All in Sari is one of the largest and longest standing exchanges in the region, focused on expanding their network and evolving their offerings to provide the best financial services to their customers, said Nevin Gupta, Managing Director, South Asia at MENA at Ripple. We view this partnership with Money Match as a continuation of that ethos, and we're excited to be partnering with them to improve cross-border payments in key remittance corridors with RippleNet Cloud. You can see it's very functional RippleNet and it's very helpful. The people that are using it, the institutions that are using it, banks, everything are very happy with this technology because it's very significant, guys. Towards an era of cross-border CBDCs. Here you can see, guys, it's coming and it's almost time. The BIS and four central banks successfully concluded Project Inthanon Lion Rock in September 2021. The project experimented with cross-border transactions of CBDCs among four central banks, namely the Bank of Thailand, which is re using Ripple, the People's Bank of China, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, and the Central Bank of UAE. UAE also using RippleNet. What do you think they're using to make CBDCs transfer, guys? They're testing this stuff I out right now under our nose it introduced a payment architect architecture named multiple cbdc bridge m bridge which facilitates faster payments between any two jurisdictions at lower costs now who's involved one of the most most biggest banks in the world guys the people's bank of china so you understand what's going on here or not it's very, very significant. Crypto market cap hits new all-time high as BTC and ETH soar, okay? They reached a, a price of $67,000 for Bitcoin and 4000 mark for Ethereum, which is history, guys, in the makings. This is incredible and it keeps going. Bank of America adds 23 more firms to its crypto research list. Guys, it's getting serious now. BOFA, Bank of America, now identifies a total of 43 publicly traded companies that may benefit from exposure to digital assets. Now, the Bank of America also is working with RippleNet. Again, it's just a matter of time. Friends, central bank pilots blockchain-based CBDC for debt market. Led by Belgian financial services firm Euroclear, the latest French CBDC trial involved a system by tech giant EBM. Let's take a look. The CBDC trial was led by Belgium-based financial services firm Euroclear and used a system developed by American Technology. The CBDC test also involved the French Public Debt Office alongside the central bank and a consortium of major financial companies operating in France, including firms such as BNP, Credit Agricole, CIB, HSBC, and Societe Generale. So here you can see, guys, after launching an experimental CBDC program in March 2020, where they actually were testing cross-border payments, guys. Very interesting. Here we have Jeremy Hogan. This paragraph in John Deaton's motion regarding the SEC motion to extend discovery is exactly why his and XRP holders' involvement is so important. Someone has to tell the court how the SEC lawsuit impacts 50k people and counting. Johnny Deaton is a real American hero. True story. So here you can see actually what Johnny uh, Deaton wrote. It's crazy, guys. We already covered this in the beginning, but here you can see some of the official letter. In opposing the SEC's request for this delay, Ripple's argument focuses on how the freezing of XRP markets within the United States impacts Ripple. So he's really making a voice for the XRP holders, guys. And there was a paper which everyone could sign. 
With pandemic-related declines in cash usage, CBDCs are more important than ever. Business Times breaks down why establishing interoperable payment system is crucial for the future of money. Learn more. So here you can again see, guys, that this time that we're moving in is very significant for cross-border payments. And XRP has been made for this. Response to my Sunday post column, Mike Novogratz hints that XRP can break due to its strong community, which is really true, guys. XRP is one of the strongest community out there, and it is crazy. Look at that, guys. Everyone is reacting and very alive in the community, and that makes actually um, this a very hard job for the SEC. They will never succeed because we are here. So that's great. XRP lawsuit. XRP holders approach the court regarding the expert discovery extension dispute. So it's almost time to get that discovery, guys, and we will hear what the judge has to say. As Fin Extra reports, Wells Fargo invests in Volante Tech, which is using RippleNet technology, guys. Wells Fargo has picked Volante to help it migrate to the ISO 222 financial messaging standard following a similar move by fellow investor CT. So, Volante Tech is used by the Fed and it is Ripple technology. You can look it up. Oh, there it is. A picture. The Volpe Ripple processor module speeds integration to the Ripple Global Settlement Network. This is on their website very clear and very obvious thank you very much for watching this video guys see you in the next one cheers